Okay guys, welcome back for another Dokkan Battle video and today we're going to be taking on the Omega Shenron. Uh, I guess you could call it version of the Red Zone Battle. So this is the first fight we're going up against. I think this guy's name is like, like, like Ludwig or something like that. I don't know. I think I just named off a Pokemon right there, but um, uh, again, this guy's name starts with like L something and um, he's again... I think the actual first ever boss we fight, like, or like, you know, Goku, uh, Trunks and Pan fight in GT, and goddamn, we're getting all the character introductions here, baby. <laughs> That's how I like to start it off. So, as you guys can tell, uh, we're going to be running the absolute um, overpowered team that is beyond Super Saiyan and movie heroes. Uh, why? Because, number one, frankly, this has got to be <laughs> my best team ever, and because why not? Uh, why not just absolutely destroy this event and make a mockery of it, you know? Just like, let's have fun here. Let's just bring <laughs> the most busted units ever. And let, let's let's just have fun while we're at it, you know? Just just absolutely dis uh, destroy this, um, this freaking hammerhead shark looking boy. Uh, who I'm gonna call L. Uh, I'm literally just gonna call him L because I forgot this boy's name. I, he, he's not really a memorable villain in uh, GT, but he is a decent villain. I'll give him that. He's an okay villain for GT. His powers were interesting, but uh, honestly, dude, uh, he went down kind of kind of easy. Uh, Goku, I think, only had to go like Super Saiyan uh, to go ahead and beat my man, but I mean, to be fair, the Goku in GT is significantly stronger than like the Goku that we've seen before, because uh, uh, GT, even though I think it's not officially canon, um, if you were to do the math, I like, cause I've seen a couple videos on it, on people just, you know, like, calculating it, but if you were to do the math, uh, GT, uh, base GT Goku would be, like, I think already, like, universal level, cause technically GT is, like, after the events of Z, and technically all of Super is before the end of Z, so, <laughs> I think very easily you guys can begin to tell that, uh, Goku and, um, in, uh, what's it called? GT is just, uh, even just base Goku is just absolutely ridiculous. Alright, so we should be looking pretty good here. Um, again, as long as Vegeta, uh, I'm not gonna say it, uh, cause I always end up jinxing it. As long as Vegeta doesn't get hit with the oopsie, uh, we should be good. Um, again, God Goku and God Vegeta, I mean, they're just, uh, again, just as ridiculous as, um, you know, I've said many, many times, uh, throughout, you know, making their showcase video. You know, taking him into the Legendary Goku event, now taking him in this event. I think I can actually finally now beat the second stage of the Broly one, which is Lord Slug. Uh, again, I actually could not beat that one uh, with the... I, th I think I ran the Reps of Universe... No, not Reps of Universe 7. I ran, like... Uh, what uh, What was it? Powerful Comeback and... And what was the other one? Again, dude, my, my mind is slipping me, but I know I ran another team. It was Powerful Comeback and... I think it was just reps of Universe 7, because that's Evolution Blue Vegeta's team, and that's the team that I was, you know, you know, rocking during that time, so. So I think it was just that one at that time. Oh, apparently, we're now getting what? Oh, shoot, login bonus, dope. Uh, but, <laughs> that's not exactly what we're here to do, Dokkan, but thank you. Uh, we're here to now take on the second stage, baby. Uh, again, not too sure how hard this is going to be. I doubt it's going to be too hard. We only have a 79% friend. All right, what does this friend have? Okay, so let, what is that, a 5? Level 5 additional? Oh, shoot, that's a level 5 golden additional. Absolutely. Why, why, why what? Where, where did the team that I build go? Did I seriously put Super Saiyan 2 Gohan? I'm, I don't think so. Who was the last unit? I think I actually did put Super Saiyan 2 Gohan on the team. No, we're going to put you. It makes more sense to have stacking units. I don't know why I would have put him on the team. Unless I did. Which, in that case, that just proves that I have very bad memory. Short-term memory. <laughs> ah, that's not good. Okay, another <laughs> character introduction. Uh, I'm not sure if I should turn off the, char uh, the character introductions. Because, I, you know, I, I really genuinely like them. So, I think, I think I'm going to keep them for now. Oh, shoot, that is not good. Let's do... Yeah, let's do that. Alright, um... 
We have the God Boys turn one. This is actually kind of bad. I really didn't want both of them on the same turn. But the good thing is that they're at least going to be guarding, so there's no real danger there. Um, and then, I, dude, if this is the order of the bosses that they fight, this has got to be one of the weirdest looking bosses I think I've ever seen. This baby looking dude. Uh, again, I've literally only seen a couple episodes of GT. If I'm being completely honest, I never could really get into the GT um, series of Dragon Ball. Like, I, like, I really wanted to because I know it has Monkey, but, dude, the early, um, <laughs> the early bosses of GT, uh, again, were not exactly what I would call stellar. Uh, again, the L dude was completely forgettable, the guy that we fought, the blue-looking alien hammerhead shark-looking boy. Uh, again, he was completely forgettable. This giant baby dude, like I said, is also just completely forgettable, like, he, he he's... Dude, he's just weird. Like, he's literally just a giant baby. And then, of course, these chads, these absolute gorgeous men. Um, I mean, they're they're pretty much what carries the entire, like, GT series. N no one remembers GT because of anything else but the Super Saiyan 4s. That's all people ever remember GT by. Which, um, I think should tell you more or less uh, what exactly is the issue with GT. Is that it's just so unmemorable, man. Unless if you're talking about Gogeta, then hell yeah, dude, Gogeta's hella memorable, but I mean, he's really, GT, unfortunately, just was really badly written. Um, again, it's just a very generic version of literally all the other Dragon Ball franchises where it's, the rest of the characters don't do anything other than just let Goku win. That's the best way I can describe GT, except for like the fight with Omega Shenron, where Vegeta at least plays a part, but then towards the end, it just, again, it ends up with Goku beat villain, which again, is perfectly fine because they even do it in like Super and all that, but it's like, <laughs> it's like, can, like, can any of the other units get some shine or some love? Because, um... Because, like, again, man, it was just literally Goku just winning the entire time. And I was like, okay, I mean, I, I mean I'm mean, i fine with Goku winning. But at the same time, it's like, does he does he ever let anybody else do anything? Like, again, my biggest disappointment was just seeing units like Gohan just not do anything. You know? Or even Goten. Uh, and again, Goten turned freaking Super Saiyan at, like, five years old, man. Like, he's, he, he, I mean, he's not a weak character. Um, and especially in GT, you know, Gohan, after all the stuff he's been through, I would imagine is going to be much stronger. But, I mean, they didn't really do much, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, again, if they ever decide to make, like, a remake of GT, like, and, like, obviously make, you know, the monkeys canon and, you know, everything like that. All I would pretty much tell them is, don't make it the Goku beats everything show, you know? Like... I can understand why you guys would want to do that, but at the same time, it's like you guys got to let your other characters have some sh time to shine, too, because if not, you know, what's really the point? Uh, so, again, GT was a decent show. Again, by no means am I trying to slander it too hard. Again, it, like, like it was fun. It was entertaining to watch. Um, again, I know I said it didn't watch too much, but I honestly kind of skipped a lot of it until I got to the parts with, um, with Monkey. But um, again, it's it was an okay show, <laughs> a little bit of a roller coaster here and there, but it was an okay show. And as you guys can tell, I am gonna use items uh, mostly because um, I'm not <laughs> gonna risk death here. Uh, but um, I think we might actually. I mean, again, I don't know how many phases this baby dude is, but I think I might transform into Monka. I think I'm gonna actually go <laughs> gonna go ahead and actually transform with Gogeta here. Uh, just because, again, Gogeta can tell whether or not a unit's going to be super attacking, so that's going to be, again, really powerful. Unfortunately, these guys don't heal on their s transformation, but to be fair, they're just so ridiculously busted in every other aspect. They really didn't need it. Ah, and then, of course, the god himself, Monkar. Monkar comes out to play, boys. We're in for a treat. Oh, okay. I'll just, uh, I'll just finish it with this.
Oh, and a beautiful ending. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, oh shoot, what the hell? Okay, giant baby. Oh, giant baby turned into something else. Giant baby turned into red angry giant baby. <laughs> We're gonna transform with Gogeta. Because I need the dude, I need that damn scouter effect. But what the hell? Giant baby just absolutely morphed right there. <laughs> dude, what the frick? <laughs> That's actually kind of creepy. Giant baby decided to anamorph itself. I swear. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, it's he's gonna. Oh, okay, I'm actually gonna leave Kel and Kleefla then in the back slot. Um, <laughs> that's actually pretty good, but Jesus, giant baby really decided to uh, become a freaking power ranger, dude. What the hell? Animorph time. Giant baby evolves. <laughs> oh, that was, dude. The baby looks hella creepy in this form. I'm not gonna lie. That's actually kind of stuff's kind of sus, dude. <laughs> Oh, I don't like it. I really don't like it at all. I'm trying to find the ultimate red zone, but the baby one, so I can know how many more is. Ultimate red zone GT. I'm trying to find the GT edition. All right, giant baby. Okay, so the giant baby only has two. So this, so this is his last one. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Cause uh, I don't know if we could have actually beaten this then. Cause um. We, again, we took a lot of damage uh, when, I think it was, uh, who was it that took like 417k? Well, I mean, I think it was the God Boys, but to be fair, we did get supered in the first slot. So, <laughs> uh, needless to say, you know, 417k, I, was, I think I should have probably expected that, but damn boy, giant baby, let's go. And they dodge. Ah, oh, dude, Kale and Khalifa are still so good. <laughs> they 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 literally saved us so much damage right there. Gogeta's at 150 that K. Not really gonna risk death. I could do that, but again, I'm not dumb and I'm not gonna do that. Trying not to die here. Uh we are gonna be able to see monkey 12 key super attack though. That's that's something new. But um Yeah. Oh 150k you say? Hello? What? How? What? No way. I mean, I know we had our defense lowered, but like... Hmm? 90k? Bruh. Jesus Christ. I think this is why they built the super attacks for the or the active skills for the for the anniversary units on whether or not their HP is 50% or yours is because they have a little bit of HP and of course your HP is going to go down significantly because oh my god they really just dude how did giant baby do 150k why giant baby why but um, it's not really going to matter. We're going to go ahead and transform with these boys. Okay, so now... <laughs> we can just go ahead and do this. Oh, wow, dude, 431k is pretty good. Okay, here we go. Okay, sick. Giant baby is down. <laughs> Dude, I I really wasn't expecting that. God damn. 150k from giant baby. Why giant baby? 
Okay, at least we got 10 stones, so that puts us at 80 stones, but Jesus Christ, giant baby, that was, um, that was something else. So anyways, uh, again, those were the god boys, as well as, um, our monkey boys. Uh, of course, Gogeta with that mwah, beautiful active skill that helped end us that first fight, saving us a little bit of damage there. Uh, I mean, again, that was... That was really, really nutty, man. I did not expect us to take that level of damage, but holy cow. And again, uh, even though, again, even if you have these units at 55%, I do think they should be more than fine um, in that event. Even if, again, we were taking like 150k. Uh, I mean, you can bring items into the event, you know, like support mem uh, support memories and stuff. Uh, again, I can only use one item because of because of you know whatever reason that i still haven't found out but typically you can bring like two items in a support memory so i mean again with the items you should be good uh again there are a ton of other units on this team that you probably could have brought in that i didn't for example the gogeta or not gogeta but vegeto or even some other like movie hero units that are in here you know that would be actually relatively decent um in that event um the beyond super saiyan team as well just again has a ton of other options like even Master Jui Goku, I think, would have been pretty decent in this um, run. Uh, you know, because, uh, you know, with the 70% chance to dodge, even, like, the EZA for the Super Saiyan 4s would have been really good. Uh, so, yeah, again, like, <laughs> there is uh, a lot of options that you could run to go ahead and beat this event. But, of course, it's going to be a lot harder if you don't have, like, the 200% leader skills that the gods and the monkeys give you. So, I mean, there is that to it as well. So, I mean, anyways, um... That is going to do it for today's video, guys. You guys can let me know what you guys think of uh, the new Ultimate Red Zone Battle. Again, I really enjoy it because, again, it does provide a lot of, you know, difficulty. It does, you know, give us that sense of challenge. So, yeah. I mean, those were the God Boys as well as the Monkey Boys over there in the Ultimate Red Zone Battle, the GT Edition. Um, it is significantly harder, I would say, the movie one than the GT one because, again, I practically beat those on first try and the uh, movie bosses one i literally died on lord slug uh and then i realized right then and there like dude these enemies are just completely on a different level so uh yeah again i've said this a million times now but that is going to do it for today's video and i will see you all in the next one peace the name of this one is rose Oh, this is the power of legendary Super Saiyan Goku. Now I understand.